Hi, it's Corey, and today you're gonna learn how to play Stay With Me by Sam Smith. So this is another one of the songs that are from my 10 songs that only need three chords for video. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out. Um, but this is one that you guys specifically said that you wanted to see a tutorial for. So here it is. I also have one for somebody I used to know, Truth Hurts and Dreams as well. And all those songs uh, require only three chords or in Truth Hurts case, only two. So make sure to check those out too if you're looking for some pretty easy beginner friendly songs to play. First things first, let's make sure your ukulele is in tune. So that's going to be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and then a A on the fourth, uh, first string. For this song, you're only gonna need to know three chords. That's gonna be an A minor, a C major, and an F major, which is awesome because those are some of the easiest chords that you can play. The first chord we're gonna be learning is going to be that A minor. For A minor, all you have to do is take your second finger and then place it on the fourth string second fret. So that's the A minor. The next chord is the F major. Now what's really nice about this is every single time you play the F chord in this song, it's going to be right after an A minor. So if you're here for the A minor, and then you move to the F, you only have to put one more finger down, okay? So right now, your finger's in that second finger, fourth string, second fret position. For the A minor, all you have to do to change that to an F chord is take your first finger and place it on the second string, first fret. And then that is your F chord. And then the last chord you're gonna need is the C major, and that is going to be your third finger on the third fret, first string. So in total, we have A minor, F major, and C. And that is the entire progression we're using for this entire song too, which is really, really nice. Just a minor, F, C, okay? Let's talk about strumming pattern. Now, what's really great about this is you're just going to be strumming on the beat for most of the chords. Now, um, on the C major chord, I'm gonna show you something you can do to add a little bit extra something to it, but mostly this song is just like, chord, 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 and then the more rhythmic elements are added with some electronic beats in the background. We can't do that because we have a ukulele, but we will spice it up a little bit with our C chord. So what that's going to be is you're just going to strum down on the A minor twice. So down, down, change to F, down, down, and then C, and then you'll have a little strumming pattern for C that I'll show you in a second. So again, that's just down, down, F, down, down, then you move to the C. And now if you're not ready for the strumming pattern that I'm about to show you, you could just do the same thing for C and then just keep strumming on the down strum for C as well. But if you wanna take it to the next level, you can do this. What that is going to be on the C, it's going to be a down, 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 up, down, down, down. So again, slowly, that's down, 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 up, down, down, down. And you will see that on the screen as well. So when you add that to the A minor and the F, you have A minor, A minor, F, F, then down, 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 up, down, down, down. Again, that's down, 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 then down, 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 up, down, down, down. The C major chord is gonna be held longer than the A and the F. So you need a full four counts for that one. But just remember if you're not ready for the down, 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 up, down, down, down. If you're not ready for that storming pattern, just stick with on the C of down, 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 down for four beats, okay? One more thing of note, when we get to the second to last chorus, we are going to only do a single down strum on each of the chord changes. I think it adds a nice breakup to the strumming pattern that we're using for both the verse and the chorus, and normally it's a different strumming pattern for those two, but since we're using the same one all the way through, it's a really nice thing to do just to like, especially with a more of a ballad kind of like this, to just kind of play it on just those chord changes. So what that would sound like is with the strumming pattern, we have a down, 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 and then C. And then 
we're just changing to the chord changes. Cause you're all I need. This ain't love is clear to see. But darling, stay with me. Then we're gonna go back to strumming pattern. Oh, won't you stay? So on, and then you go back to the starting pattern. So with that, let's do the playthrough. One, two, here we go, and. great beginner song to learn just because it's so repetitive this progression never changes and the sturm pattern can potentially stay the exact same throughout the entire song so it's in it works with the a minor c major and f major chords so it's really really great for a beginner player so if you found this helpful make sure to give it a like and make sure to comment down below with any other songs you would like tutorials for i really do read all your comments and i plan out what content i make based on what you want. Um, also, super exciting, we have hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not already a part of this super awesome little community we have going on, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well um, so you can always get like updates and know when new content comes out so you can be the best ukulele player you can be. So thank you also so much if you already are one of my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it and it's been a really, really fun journey and I can't wait to see where we go next. All right, thanks so much guys and have a great day. Bye-bye.